go. Welcome to this episode of The More You Know, a short series of videos produced by the Pennsylvania Link to Aging and Disability Resources Service Area 13 partners. Service Area 13 consists of Berks, Lancaster, and Lebanon counties, and it's one of the 15 service areas across the Commonwealth that exist to provide long-term living information and resources for persons over the age of 60, persons with a disability, veterans, family members, and caregivers. Hello, my name is Margie Degler Pizarro. I'm your host for this series. I am a geriatric and palliative care nurse practitioner who is a passionate advocate for abundant living and aging. The Pennsylvania Link to Aging and Disability Resources is part of a nationwide initiative developed to take a seamless approach in the way that we assist seniors and adults with disabilities who need activities of daily living assistance. When you need long-term living information or assistance, call the PA link to Aging Disability Resource Center toll-free hotline at 1-800-753-8827. And the title of today's episode is Getting to Know Landis at Home with my guest, Michelle Seipel. And as always, the purpose for today's interview is to bring a renewed awareness of this service and to discuss it in detail so that service providers across Area 13, as well as those persons needing the services or products, will have a reliable and up-to-date source of information. So Michelle, thank you so much for being here today. Please tell those listening a little bit about yourself and if you could sum up Landis at Home and what it offers in a couple of sentences before expounding on the services, please do so. Thank you for being my guest today. Sure. Thank you so much, Margie, for the opportunity to be here today. I really appreciate it. My name is Michelle Seipel. I'm an occupational therapist by background, and I have been serving um, in that role and in home and community-based services for many years. Um, I've been an occupational therapist for over 25 and I've worked almost exclusively with geriatrics. So that is kind of my area of passion as well, um, trying to serve those and help people to be able to stay where they wanna stay in their homes. Um, uh, Landis at Home, I've been here for about four and a half years. It is a nonprofit, non-medical home care agency that can provide services to anyone over the age of 18 in Lancaster County. Sorry. <laughs> okay. Thank, thank you for sharing that. And it's a really important distinction I found when we're speaking with the public to explain the difference between medical and non-medical services. So when you talk about non-medical services that Landis at Home provides, tell our listening audience what you mean by that. Sure. So non-medical services are those that don't require the skills of a nurse or a licensed therapist to provide. And so for us, that means we can provide home care aids to help with personal care and hands-on care needs. We can provide companions to be able to help with, with those types of needs as well, companionship as well as homemaking. Um, we have housekeepers that will come in and do just the housekeeping, deep cleaning type tasks. And we also have drivers who do um, provide uh, driving to medical appointments or any other thing that might be needed in the community such as weddings, funerals, reunions, you name it, we've, we've been there. We've even been to Atlantic City once uh, to take one of our clients. So it's, those are things that don't require the skills of, of someone who has a nursing or a therapy background, but um, can really make a difference in someone's life. Oh, they sure can. And you certainly have the experience as a home care agency. I saw that the agency, when I was looking at your website, was actually started back in 2007. And can you share a bit about all the different types I, in more detail of what the agency offers. Sure. So originally we were started way back in 2007, um, really for the purpose of helping folks that live here at Landis Homes to be able to age in place and stay where they wanna be. And that was really the focus initially was to provide short visits of care that would help people stay home safely. Um, we've now expanded much more uh, to doing things outside of that as well. So we do serve people here at Landis Homes, but also within 15 miles of our community, um, in the greater community, um, providing things like I mentioned, um, home care aid services, um, which can include bathing, dressing, getting to the bathroom, helping with light wound care, some medication assistance, um, things like that. 
um, companionship and homemaking, um, doing some light surface things, um, cleaning dishes, um, doing laundry, making beds, things that get more and more difficult for people as they age. Um, as well as I said, the more deep cleaning housekeeping again, um, it always, as an occupational therapist, uh, makes me cringe when I see somebody getting up on step stools or boxes or whatever it may be that people try to climb on to do the things they need to do to clean in their home. And that's just a fall waiting to happen in my world. So um, being able to have people, we can help provide those deep cleaning and um, helping with those tasks that are more difficult as well. And that transportation piece really has been something that has been a lifesaver for a lot of people. Um, as we get older, um, you know, obviously some people give up the, the driving so that they can um, be safer. You know, unfortunately there are people that have incidences and decide not to drive anymore. There's also times where you can't drive after you've been to the eye doctor and they dilate your eyes or if you've had surgery or things like that. So we can actually do a one-time transport or we can take you everywhere you need to go every time you need to go somewhere. So those services can really come in handy. And we do have wheelchair vans as well as cars. So we can service people that are, are wheelchair bound as well, which can be something that um, is hard to find. Oh, that sure is. And so how would people come to know you, go through the process of coming on board with you? What, that, what would that look like for someone interested in your services in the Lancaster area? Sure, so we have a website, landisathome.org. Uh, there's lots of information there, like Margie said. Um, there is a contact us um, place that you can send us an email and we will get back to you that way. You can also call our office. Our office number is 717-509-5800. And those are the two best ways to get in touch with us. Wonderful. As we're recording this, the governor is slowly lifting some of the, re the COVID restrictions that we've lived under for the past over a year. How has that affected your staff interacting with the clients that they have? Good question. Um, I think for us, home care has always been um, an environment where infection control was very important. We're going into people's homes. We have no idea how people are cleaning or disinfecting or doing things like that. So for us, we've always been training our staff that infection control is extremely important and to help our clients to have as clean of an environment as possible. During COVID, we just kind of took that up to the next degree or 10 degrees higher, however you want to look at it, uh, by helping people to keep their environment clean, disinfected, things like that but also obviously providing um, the PPE and such that our, our staff uh, might need to be able to help protect everyone um, involved. Um, was there another part of that question that I didn't- Well, in terms of COVID, you know, yeah. people are wondering about, do I interact with somebody that's had the vaccine or not? What's your policy on that? Mm -hmm. So we have not made the vaccine mandatory. Uh, we feel that that's a difficult thing to do when it's still under emergency certification. Um, we do have about, at this moment, about 64% of our staff have been vaccinated. Um, unfortunately or fortunately, it is a HIPAA protected information. So we actually cannot ask our caregivers if they are vaccinated. So that does make it difficult when clients call and they are requesting only vaccinated caregivers because that's protected information. I can't ask that of my caregivers. So at this time, we are not able to staff cases according to the request of someone to have the vaccination in place. We continue with ongoing education related to the vaccination and the, the, um, the hopes that, that more and more of our caregivers will see the um, benefits of it, but we are not at this point being able to make that mandatory. And that is such a, a key area for people to understand the fact that with HIPAA laws, the privacy laws, that employers have to respect that for their employees as much as we would our clients not sharing their information with anyone. And I think that's an area when it comes to caring for people in their homes, sometimes that, like you said, we have to educate because people hear what the media says, they don't know what's true and what's not. So I'm sure you're doing a lot when people are calling and going through the intake process to share that information. We're doing our very best. You know, the COVID information unfortunately changes sometimes on a daily basis, maybe not so much recently, but it still changes often. And so we're trying our best to be able to be nimble and, and work through all of the changes that have happened during the pandemic and keep everyone at the lowest risk, risk possible 
for that transmission because we don't want any of our clients to to get it or any of our caregivers to get it either. So we're just trying to be as diligent as we can. Sure. And I think it's really a cool thing that you as an occupational therapist head this up. How does that help the program and the clients coming into the program, the fact that you have that background? Well, it is, it is interesting. Um, I think for me, um, one of the things I used to do a lot of when I was practicing as an occupational therapist actively was a lot of home safety evaluations. And so I've been in hundreds of homes um, and being able to make those recommendations to help people age in place safely to um, temporarily you know, adapt their home for someone who has a temporary illness or, or injury that requires it um, or making those big recommendations of potentially um, construction or things like that that might need to happen for more long-term type um, needs. Uh, so that is an interesting way to look at things. We also have nurses on staff. That's one thing that differentiates Landis at Home from a lot of other non-medical home care agencies is that even though we are non-medical, we are, um, and we do see the benefit of having a registered nurse overseeing all of our care. And with that, they oversee our care as well as our caregivers. And so our caregivers always have a registered nurse to go to with questions and for education piece. So with the occupational therapist background that I have, in addition to the nurse background of our nurse that works for us full time, the two of us look at things, um, I think between the two of us very comprehensively, but also holistically from a different angle. You know, I'm looking at things from a different, with a different hat on than my nurse is looking at things. And so I think the two of us together really work well to be able to address not just medical things, but also um, safety things and things that might be more of an occupational therapy background. Sure. So people that live at Landis that can use this service or people that live in Lancaster in their own communities really have this wonderful, wonderful benefit because typically non-medical home care is exactly that. You're not having a registered nurse in the home. You're not having a therapist in the home. That is on the side of medical in-home care. So they're really having a wonderful benefit through Landis at Home that they wouldn't have perhaps with some other agencies. And I like the fact that I also saw that there is a nurse available 24 seven should something happen. How would people using your services contact that on call nurse? Sure. So there's always someone on call 24 seven for our, our present clients. So if there is a need or our caregivers have a need, I've gotten calls at 1.30 in the morning from an overnight caregiver that needed assistance and I was there to help them. And I think that really gives people um, peace of mind knowing that there's someone to be able to call. Um, our, our clients can actually call our main phone number, the 717-509-5800, and that goes to the on-call phone. And then that person is alerted that there is a, a message or someone that needs to be called back and we're able to call back right away. Now that's mainly for emergent type things. Um, if there are some routine scheduling or things like that, that, that need to be done, that's addressed the next business day. But um, we do have the ability for, for our caregivers or our clients to call us at any time of the day, should there be a, a need that needs to be addressed. The other thing I wanted to mention um, prior to that was when we were talking about occupational therapy, one of the things I do offer as well, which is a different thing for home care, is I can come do a home safety assessment and make recommendations for aging in place um, as well. So just that's something else that we do on the side um, as just a concierge service that we offer. That is great because we both know working in geriatrics, a fall can herald the beginning of a downward spiral that just can't reverse itself. And so knowing that the home is safe, that fall risks are mitigated, throw rugs, loose furniture, things of that nature, bathroom safety, that is such a wonderful service that Landis at Homes is able to provide. The other thing that I was thinking that I'm sure people have questions on, when they're having non-medical service, how is it billed? How is it paid for? And what kind of minimum hours or maximum hours are they looking at? Thank you for asking that. That's a great question. Uh, so for us, the majority of our clients are private pay. They're paying for those services themselves. Unfortunately, at this time, Medicare Part A and Part B do not pay for non-medical home care services. There are some Medicare Advantage plans, the Medicare Part C plans that are starting to have benefits. 
for home care. So if you have one of those plans, that'd be something that you should look into. Um, we do participate, we are a provider, a provider through the Office of Aging Options Program. So if someone is needing assistance, Office of Aging is always a great place to start. Um, we also are a, an approved provider through Medicaid, through their Community Health Choices Program as well. Um, so that is something that, you know, that's a couple different ways that you can actually get our services. That's fantastic. So that really opens up the gamut for anyone who is able to pay privately all the way to that person or couple with limited income. That's a, a great service. And do they work out with you once they start engaging with you? Do you make recommendations or how is it determined how many hours a day and how many days a week your services go into the home? Sure. Sure, just to finish the question that I didn't finish before. Um, we do have a minimum of two hours for folks that don't live here at Atlantis Homes. Uh, so that's two hours for housekeeping, uh, transportation, um, companionship and home care aid. So that's that's a actually a pretty low minimum compared to a lot of agencies out there. Um, for us to get, to get someone started, we have to do an intake. And that is generally done by our nurse. Um, occasionally I do it or somebody else may do it, but it's usually a nurse or an occupational therapist who does that initial assessment. And that's a free assessment, and that can be arranged just by calling our office. Um, and we go over all, all things home care. There are some regulations that come along with home care, and we have to make sure that we are reviewing that important information. Um, there's an agreement that we sign. It's a non-binding, you know, there's, there's no obligation. If you sign up for us and, and agree to have us provide those services for you, you can change your mind and say, we're not going to use you. And that's fine. It's not a problem at all. Um, but there is an intake that goes along with that. We also, while we're there, we are assessing the client to make sure that they are someone that we can care for. Uh, we do have a lifting restriction for our staff. So they're only allowed to lift up to 50 pounds. So if somebody is a total lift and needs moved, you know, without them able to help at all, that would be a client that may not be the best fit for us. Uh, but you'd be amazed at how many people just need a little boost to get out of a chair or just a little bit of, a, of an assistance. And we can definitely help in those areas. Um, we're also assessing the environment, at least at a quick glance. You know, are, are there any obvious safety hazards? Is there so much clutter that the walker can't fit through the home? Um, is there an emergency exit besides the front door? Um, are there smoke detectors? Are there weapons? Are there, are there pets in the house that have their vaccines and things like that? So there's a lot of things we actually do when we go into someone's home um, to make sure that it's um, a case that we can help with, but also that it's a safe environment for our caregivers. Wonderful, wonderful service. Landis at home. One more time, would you share the phone number and the web address for those listening to us today? Sure. If you'd like to know more about Landis at home, you can call 717-509-5800 or visit our website at landis.home, landisathome.org. Sorry. Okay, thank you, Michelle. Thank you so very much for this excellent presentation and sharing the more you know about Landis at Home by the Pennsylvania Link to Aging and Disability Resource Area 13 Partners Network. My name is Margie Degler Pizarro. Thank you for joining us today. Be well, and remember, when you need long-term assistance or information about it, call the PA Link to Aging and Disability Resource Center toll-free hotline at 1-800-753-8827. And I will put up the information for a moment for you to be able to read it as well. Thank you for joining us. Thank you, Margie, for the opportunity. Thank you.